y'all know I usually try not to buy into any of the hype. Right. Like whenever, you know, stuff is going on in a, in a sports world, I'm like trying to always be the last person to believe in any of the hype that's going on with any particular player, any particular team. I don't know why, but that's just my flow. That's how I've been. But I, I got to say, I am getting convinced every single preseason game by Caleb Williams that this man is about to be 100% legit, bro. This dude is a baller, dog. Now, now we already knew he was nice at USC, seeing the type of throws he made, and I get it's preseason, but damn it, I can't help but to buy into the hype because these throws he's making is insane. Like, back leg across the body on the run like dumping it exactly where it needs to be it's insane his awareness his patience in the pocket his pocket presence all of that stuff his accuracy whenever he's throwing the ball downfield he sees the field very well sees all of his options when he's throwing the ball and surveying the defense so i just can't help but to like kind of get a little bit excited seeing what caleb williams is doing so far for the bears because i mean a lot of guys aren't that successful at being the number one pick. I mean, you know, it, it's tough. And with Caleb Williams, I think he's in a very unique situation. Above all, he'll either be a great quarterback this this season, and, and just this season, he'll either be a great quarterback, lives up to all the hype, um, you know, reaching all the standards that everyone put up there for him, showing everybody like, okay, this guy really might be the next Pat Mahomes or whatever you want to compare him to. He'll either live all the way up to every single hype that he has and be one of the greatest quarterbacks to come up next, or he's going to be a great talent in the turnover machine. Because, I mean, you got to keep in mind, a, a lot of guys at this age that he is of 23, 24, whatever it is, in that young age of first year going into the NFL, throwing the ball, a lot of guys have trouble, you know, finding their guys through a defense. And then when people who've been in the NFL four or five years been playing quarterback and they still struggle with throwing on the run and, and getting it to the receiver accurately, it just tells me that what Caleb Williams is doing is going to be a, some sort of a risk. Like him getting out the pocket, making these back leg throws and these cross body throws on the run, that's not easy. I mean, we still see Josh Allen, Tua Tagovailoa, Jalen Hurts, even Patrick Mahomes still throwing crazy amount of interceptions when attempting these type of passes. And those guys are all great talents, but they were also top five in interceptions last year. So, yes, it can be done. And I, I know Caleb Williams can do it. Clearly, he's shown he can do it. But it's just the fact that is he going to be a turnover machine when these things happen? Because we haven't seen that in the preseason, but also keep in mind, you got stars on other teams' defenses who are not playing. You got guys who know how to read plays up and down, who know how to read the quarterback up and down. They're not playing right now. Defensive backs, top five, top ten in interceptions, they're not playing right now. The pass rush is not going to be as strong because guys aren't at full strength when you're going against these teams. So you got to keep that in mind, but... Again, it, it, I 1,000% I expect Caleb Williams to, to give us more plays like the ones we've seen, um, these crossbody throws and just putting it right where it needs to be on the run. But above all, I would be even more impressed if he does this and continues to limit his amount of turnovers because that's what's really going to be the secret sauce right there. A lot of guys can make these throws, and, and we, we pick and choose when we want to get hype, unfortunately. I don't know why you know media does that, but... Guys like Caleb Williams, Pat Mahomes, Tua Tagovailoa, Jalen Hurts, Josh Allen. The thing that separates all of them from Pat Mahomes and Lamar Jackson is the fact that those guys, Pat Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, can throw on a run and they limit their turnovers. They limit the amount of interceptions, the fumbles, and all of the silly things that they have. And that's a huge deal breaker right there. But ultimately, I think the Bears are going to be in good shape. I mean, you know, judging from the preseason and looking at the pieces they picked up on the offseason, I think the defense is going to somewhat hold up their own. They brought back their linebackers, uh, Tremont Edmonds and TJ Walker. Those guys are going to be a huge help. And above all, man, you know, they, they got a new defensive coordinator. It's kind of some things up in the air. But the last thing I'm worried about, I mentioned the defense just because the last thing I'm worried about is the offense and what they can do. I'm sure we're going to see the Bears score the ball. That's like going to be the main source of entertainment is watching the Bears offense go to work with Caleb Williams and all the receiver options there. But 
the main thing is, is that defense going to really step up to the plate and make something happen? Because you just never know. You never know. And, and we've seen over the course of the past few years, that's been the case where the defense has struggled and the offense just so happened to struggle as well. So we'll see. But I, I'm... St- I guess you can say I'm buying into the hype. <laughs> I guess you can say I've officially bought into the hype of Caleb Williams and what he can do because this is insane. Watching these throws that he's making is insane, man. Not a lot of guys can do it, but oh, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to actually be able to do it in the game, you know, man? Like it's crazy. So 